can you tell us a little how you started music and your background when it comes to that? My older sister, she used to play a lot of music. And um, she used to have me dance and rap for people, like, you know what I mean? And um, she wrote my first rhyme about a female. And my older sister gave me my name, Dice. Yeah, she said my attitude because you never know what you get. So she named me Dice. And she wrote my she wrote my first two rhymes. So shout out to Tay and all that. But since then I've just been I've been on to it after that. I wanted to be a singer when I was young. Usher. You know what I mean? Who ain't wanna be Usher back then? You feel me? But I couldn't sing, so I took the writing part, the, the rapping part. Was there a point when you really decided to take it serious where you knew like that's what you wanted to do? My whole life, that's what I wanted to be an entertainer. So, like, I used to tell my teachers, like, I'm going to be a star. And I used to give out autographs to kids in my own, in my class, because I knew, you know what I mean? This is what I wanted to be. Did you have any, like, other artists you looked up to growing up? Yeah, my like, artists from my hood that was rapping. Because I ain't really, I, I like the realness, and they was rapping what they was living, so... I looked into them. Angry Men, Takeover, Straight Paper, you know what I mean? Real Right, them groups. And then I know you form your own group, so can you talk about that? Boss Brad? Yeah, Boss Brad. We meet, shout out to Dub. We had the studio in the crib, and we were just rapping. I mean, and, and that's, that's, that's Boss Brad right there. It's history. Shout out to 2V. And we, you know what I mean? We, we started going hard with it. So what do you think about the current trend in rap, like with drill and like the melodic rap? What do you think about that? Nah, I like it. It's fun. Everybody, I mean, it's fun. You got you to gotta, you gotta move with the time. And how do you feel you fit into that? Like you feel like you separate or you do your own thing? Yeah, I feel like I got my own sauce. Reality rap mixed with all that, but I feel like I got my own sauce. That's why I call me Blanco because I'm so different. I mean... I'm different. How, how you feel like social media affects reality rapper? Like just like rappers being real. What you mean? Like basically, there's a lot of artists that they they kind of put on an image that's not real, and yeah. then they make it up in the music. But like with you, it's more real. So what do you feel like? How has social media changed that over time? Because there was a time when you couldn't really lie about it, yeah. what you was doing. That, was, that question is fire. <laughs> you wrote that. <laughs> for a minute. I'm saying sometimes like I you I don't know how to put it. I mean I just do me. So I don't I mean I know a lot of it it don't be it don't be what it is. I mean you could tell but, but and the editing is like it's an image you gotta put on. You could be the toughest nigga in that but you catch a nigga one on one, you know what I mean, in the same bathroom with just you and him, it'd be different. You heard? So that's how I go. I guess. I don't be worrying about with people, though. I just worry about as long as I'm staying solid and doing what I got to do, that's all that matters. And what do you, how do you stay motivated when it comes to music? It's just like, that's just like my last name. That's just me. So it's like, that's what I like to do. Like, you know how people like to get up and smoke weed? I like to get up and make music, do something with music. So that, that's my own, that's my drug. Music, my drug. And was there ever a point when you felt like giving up, like when you were younger? Anything? Yeah, I get frustrated sometimes. I was getting frustrated. I mean, I turned down a lot of deals. So I get, everybody get frustrated in this. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a, um, it's a game where it takes a lot of money because you got to get fresh. You got to shoot videos. I mean, you gotta pay for promotion. You gotta pay for features. You gotta pay for jewelry. If you want real jewelry, I ain't a nigga that can run around with fake jewelry. I mean, so it's a lot. It's a lot of money in this game that the, 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 the look like what you're talking about. Just to go back to what you said, if you rapping about bust downs and all that, you don't got it. That means you front. Yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna get on the track and say uh, AP or bust down piece or and all that. And I don't got it. I can't do that. So it's like. Before I rap about that, I gotta add that. Now, you just said you had a car in your, in your verse, and you, you see a nigga on the train. You know what I mean, that's not that shit ain't. You ain't gonna want to listen to him after that. Yeah. And can you talk about Burging and like your relationship with Jim Jones? Jim, that's my brother. 
I think he showed me he showed me a lot of love. I mean, he dropped a lot of jewels on me, and I asked him to bring his bird game thing back, and he listened and he did it. So we back in effect. We got an album dropping. We about to go crazy. Shout out to the whole bird game, King Yellow Tape, Fat Flea, Glit, So, You know, we here E one. And what? How do you feel about like rap in New York specifically? You feel like Bird Gang's gonna kind of like represent for New York in a way. We gonna bring that feeling back. Yeah. I mean, that feeling that was missing. That different type of music, but we going we 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 got songs with drill songs and all that on the album. But we're gonna bring that feeling back when you can feel it in your heart. You heard that that sling that when you sip it on that whatever you sipping on, you feel it. You feeling you feeling good. I mean, we are gonna bring that style back. And is there anyone that, like, you haven't worked with yet that you want to work with in the future? Keisha Coles. I love Keisha Coles. I ain't going to I don't really want to be, I don't really want to rap with niggas and all that. I like, I want to, I want to I get in the booth with Keisha Coles. I like the way she sing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, Keisha Coles, man. I always shout her out, man. Hopefully, I get that track one day. <laughs> And do you have any, not dreams, but just, like, other things you want to do with your brand as an artist, like, as far as just making yourself bigger, get in front of even more people? It's coming. I don't want to get nobody no ideas, but it's coming. <laughs> you feel me? I'm chasing that dream. I got three dreams I'm chasing right now, and I'm close to all three of them. You feel me? You feel like it's important for artists as far as, like, the longevity of their career to, like, get into things besides music? Yeah. You got to, cause you only nothing lasts forever in life. Nothing. I mean, we live and we die at the end of the day. And um, you it's like it's like being in a relationship with a female. It's oh, it's never gonna always be the, that same spark. I mean, <laughs> you know I mean, like everything ends and ain't nothing. Ain't nothing lasts forever. Like like keep sweats at. I mean, so it's like you gotta do other things to keep that money flowing, and keep you. Noticeable because people, I it's like wearing the same suit two weeks straight. You gonna be like, ah, right, he been fresh. Like I, I am not gonna see that no more. Yeah. That's what happens. It, things die out. If not, then, then people that was the rappers that was here twenty years ago will still be popping. You feel me? And nowadays, there's a lot of artists. And that's not to cut you off. That's my that's ambition. Right. I done seen some. I just seen some rapper that was pop I was popping twenty years ago that looked like crackheads, that's crackheads now, like you know what I mean? Or or just not even doing what they supposed to be doing. And I'm looking like damn, I can't be like that nigga. That'd be that be that be my vo- my motivation. Like I can't be like that nigga, bro. Yo, I can't be on the corner again. Do you have any advice for artists that are kinda just starting out and like trying to like stay in music but also like kinda stay afloat as far as taking care of themselves? Just just watch the the company you keep, cause once you start getting up there, your day ones, niggas you grow with, anybody, them niggas just certain certain niggas just turn to snakes, cause they want what you got, and you'll think it's all love, until they put a fast one on you without you knowing. So my th- th- thing for them, if you gonna get lit, you gonna do this music shit, just keep a little small circle inside of niggas that's not gonna change with you, and feed them too at the same time, because. Niggas turn to wolves out here. That's why you say you can't trust nobody. You feel me? That's really my advice. And do you have any more advice as far as how to stay motivated, like if they feel like quitting and stuff like that? Look at me. It took me 11 years to get on. I was going hard. I was spending a lot of money. I was doing this and doing that. Shit wasn't working out for me. I mean, but I kept my mind. My cousin, he could vouch for that. I'm like, nah, we we, we just going to keep pushing. Cause you keep knocking on the door and banging on the door, what's gonna happen? Mm-hmm. That shit gonna break down. Like, all right, come on, let him in. You feel me? Yeah. That's how it's gonna happen. You gotta just keep pushing at it. The sun's gonna go through. And so, last question, I guess, is just what's next for you? Like, is there anything you're working on? Rich Old Pain, September 24th. That looking like the date now, but we might, I told the cop earlier, we might have to push it back a little, like another week. I might be October first, but that's what we doing. A rich of pain. That's the album. All right, that's perfect. And now I just want you to do like a drop. So just like I'm Dice Peso, and then when the album's dropping, and then say like you're watching your plugs favorites. All right. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.